cabinets I want mm. it with uh, maybe near a supermarket mm. near super the super highway all the specifications okay then once you're done you click next also this one has a deposit of 250 so that we filter out uh, people who are not serious ah yeah okay because yeah. someone may just give a request of uh, <laughs> their dream house <laughs> <laughs> they're not able to really meet at that particular yes, point yes, in time and yes, waste your time. Yes, okay. Yes. All right. So those are the features that are there for Hunter. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, now I want to find out for, uh, for, for those that are in the website, it's easy to navigate through. And as you've said, if I found a house interesting, I, I make a booking. Uh, by paying the 250 deposit mm -hmm. and then after I meet the agent I clear the, the 250 that's yes. for an area like Juja yes. and then I get to the see the house and all yes. now for if I want to request for a house mm -hmm. I make a request the other feature mm -hmm. and uh, I have my specifications yes. of what I want yes. then how quick do you respond to that how what is the turnaround time mm -hmm. for that oh, so what we, we do we work with our schedule for mm -hmm. example, uh, the mom who called me yesterday wanted the house by end month. So okay. she's planning to uh, to move out end month. Mm -hmm. So we have, so we will reach out to her like three days before with the photos of the house that we have. Mm -hmm. We have got to see if it meets her needs or we need to do further house hunting. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we work with your schedule. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And is it um, more costly than this other one? Mm, not really. It's not more costly. Mm -hmm. Mm, it depends on the location because you see we have the expense of the agent traveling there. Maybe he has to go for, he or she has to go for maybe two days house hunting. Mm -hmm. So those expenses are what determines the price. But the maximum price for us is 3000 Okay. And that one is for bungalows and all that. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's the max that's the that you would at, pay at for it. Moment, yes. I think that's incredible. So uh, there's usually for the normal house hunting, mm -hmm. when you get an agent, um, you usually pay for them doing the house hunting for a day or something. Mm -hmm. And then after they settle in, after I settle in to the mm -hmm. house that I want, then the agent usually gets a certain percentage from the house rent uh, agreed upon before. So it could be 20% for others, 10%. Mm -hmm. uh, it it's varies. So for you, does that apply? Mm, for us, no. That doesn't apply. What, we are try what, what happens for us, a substitute to that is an agreement with the landlord. For example, in Georgia, we have partnered with um, quite a number. For example, the Haven, where we have an agreement. So with this feature now, the client won't pay. Mm -hmm. So the agent is the one, the landlord is the one who sorts the 500 okay. or, the, or the amount. Mm -hmm. Meaning that um, we don't charge, we don't take a percentage of the rent mm -hmm. by having an agreement with the landlord on mm -hmm. every client that we bring. Okay, yes. so the landlord pays for every client that you bring yes. to see the house. Yes. Yes. Okay, quite interesting. So the burden is off uh, the house hunter, <laughs> <laughs> the person looking for, for the house, yes. which is quite incredible. Mm. Now, uh, how has it been so far since you started? When did you start with Hunter, by the way, and how has it been the adoption, um, the reception from people? Mm, thank you. So I started this as a business WhatsApp after facing that problem and getting requests from clients because of the industry I mean, in 2022, August, I think. Eh? So I did it as a business WhatsApp. It, it became tedious. It became tedious to manage the photos mm. because I had to go to my gallery to send the photos. So after facing that problem, it's when we came together with Mr. Dixon. Mm -hmm and decided to come up with this platform where the, 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 how the, the images are managed on the website. I don't have to mix my personal and my business, mm. the photos. Uh -huh. So we have a, a central place to manage the, the business. Mm -hmm. So um, that has been the experience. Um, it hasn't been easy mm -hmm. because the technical bit is uh, quite something. It's, it's really sophisticated because um, we are using the AWS cloud mm -hmm. and setting it up is not easy, but we have maneuvered. And also the front end, it hasn't been easy, but uh, here we are with a user-friendly platform. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Mm. Tell us about the technology behind it. Okay. So for technology, a funny fun fact about us, we, we don't use server. 
Okay. Because we, we anticipate uh, high, high, high use of the platform. Uh -huh. So we are a serverless platform, mm -hmm. meaning that we utilize Lambda. You utilize? Lambda, Lambda from AWS. Uh -huh. That's the technical bit. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So that's, that will help with storage and capacity as you continue growing. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. Lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, now, where do you, how do you see this evolving, Hunter? Mm -hmm. Because I know we had an engagement with you um, in a different uh, platform, mm -hmm. KBC Channel 1, our mother station, mm -hmm. and you were talking about how you're seeing this progress in future. Yes. So maybe you can also tell us about it. Well, I remember when we had that interview or show, mm -hmm. I talked to you about uh, the next feature that we are bringing on board, which we launched last week, the mm -hmm. Google Maps, meaning okay. that uh, you don't need an agent anymore. Mm -hmm. Any mm -hmm. new house that is uploaded in the website has a Google PIN. So once you pay the, the booking, we send you a PIN where you can drive yourself there wow. and take yourself there. Okay, yes. so <laughs> we are looking into, uh, which is, for it's, it's a good thing for, for uh, the people looking for houses, not so much for the agents, yes. but it, it <laughs> makes things easier. So now I don't, I, I'm not really depending on an agent to show me as long as I have the pin, yes. I know where I'm going, I know I'll be able to see that. Then how, who would be able to open the house for me? Who's managing that house okay, if so I'm going with it? Thank you. So for that, we usually take the management number. So once we send you the PIN, we can send you the number of the caretaker or the, the one managing the property. Mm -hmm. So once we can also make a schedule for you that um, you will be coming to see the house on this date. So we communicate prior. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it makes everything easier. Pretty easy. How, how do you think this is good? As you know, when we're talking about technology, we are seeing it uh, making things more efficient mm -hmm. and easy operations and uh, when you look at AI especially which has been very controver controversial topic in Kenya when you speak about it and people see it as it's coming to replace jobs yes. and uh, you know so this is this is not might not be AI but you know it's coming we won't need agents at the end of the day but mm -hmm. it's helping things to be more efficient w what is your take on it um, for me I think for example, in AI, I'm a fan of the enforcement learning. Mm -hmm. That is the likes of autonomous cars, the likes of Tesla self-driving cars. So for technology, I see we are, I think the West are in the future and we are coming. Mm -hmm. Because as you can see, um, for electric cars, for example, I haven't seen one at Tesla in Kenya. Okay, we have not seen the buses. <laughs> I've <laughs> no, seen the not buses, at Tesla. not uh -huh. Tesla, not yet. Mm -hmm. Meaning that um, we have a long way to go, but we are getting there research platforms and innovations. I think it's an encouragement to other innovators to come up with, to take this kind to the next level in terms of technology. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then how, how can we change our perception from tech? It's taking away our jobs. It's taking away. Now, what will we be doing if it comes to take away our, like the for the agents mm -hmm. now? How can they adapt better um, to make sure that they're not faced out? Interesting, because we're actually hiring agents. Mm -hmm who okay. can work remotely. Uh -huh. For example, now we have the um, first floor of the agent, agent portal. Mm -hmm. So basically what an agent does is looks for the houses, takes the pin, takes the pictures, then uploads on the site. Mm -hmm. They are actively recruiting, by the way. So okay. we have jobs, we are offering jobs, a lot of them. So anyone who is out there looking for a, a job, job. Uh, our number is down there. You can DM us and we'll be happy to work with you. I love it. I yes. mean, it's not really replacing agents. It's just redirecting them to uh, also work in the digital space. <laughs> you yes. know, yes. it's interesting. Yes. So how can they um, how can they apply for this? For those that are looking for jobs now, yes. here's an opportunity. Yes. How can they apply to be agents and what is required of them? OK, so first requirement is a good camera phone because mm. we are really serious in good photos and very detailed uh, photos so that our clients don't have to get to the location and see different things. So um, they can apply through my LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. um, the job is there. You can DM me. I'm Nicholas Mugambi on LinkedIn. Nicholas Mugambi Hunter or Tech Hub. That's the incorporated company. And also on our website, on the, on the footer, there's our business WhatsApp number. So you mm -hmm. can send us a DM that you are interested in the job. I s we send you the job description. 
to see if you can work with us, then there okay. we go. All yeah. right. So yeah. their work will be to look for these houses, mm -hmm. send pictures, mm -hmm. and, and all that. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. now how will you eliminate mm -hmm. um, the issues of uh, cons and mm. all that? Because someone might take a picture of a house and maybe it's already taken by someone, it's already booked by someone and all that. So how are you working on that? Nice one. So you see when, when the agent, first we have a, a probation stage where we, you send us the photos, we review. You send us the photos, the number of the management, we review. We do our personal ground checking of the details we've given us. If they match, we now create for you an account. So you don't get an account immediately. Mm. Just to filter out um, people who... Cons. Be, yes, cons. Mm. In the agent side. And also in the, um, in the client side. Eh? For example, last week but one, we had a, I had a client who was conned 400 shillings. How? Based by a different uh, person. Mm -hmm. who was staging that he would look for him for a house and all that. He sent him the photos on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And um, one, when the student arrived in, in Georgia, Jake Watt, he just sent him the number of the caretaker. Mm -hmm. You see, that was, uh, that was pretty bad. Okay. Because that was just uh, an outside agent yes, working? Yes, okay. agent, not with us. Okay. So you see, for us, by having a platform mm -hmm. and a reputed name on and brand on TikTok, we, on, on Instagram, we call ourselves Hunter underscore KE. You can check us out. I think I think it positions us as a well-established brand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. And I understand that you also have uh, some sort of partnership with Jake Watt? Yes, the, the Students' Union. Mm -hmm. uh, President Wandiga is a good friend of mine. We have worked with him in my previous startup. Uh -huh. yes. yes. So I have a support of the Students' Union there because that's where I studied. I've done a couple of projects with them in, in the IT space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yes. Okay, mm. great. What other challenges are you facing with, um, in now with your innovation with Hunter? Currency is on, is on boarding agents because uh, I think they're finding it difficult to operate with the platform. Uh -huh. yeah, because it's a new, it's, it's digital. Yeah. So you have to upload, you have to have a laptop. Some don't have laptops. But it is also available on the mobile phone, but on the laptop is more convenient. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, for example, tonight, tonight I'll be having an, a training session where I'll be training the, our new agents on how to work with the platform, how to upload houses, how to, um, we call it, assign an order. You see, when, an, uh, when a client makes an order, mm -hmm. we send a notification to all agents. Okay. So the one who is available picks up the order. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. And they now look for that house. That's uh, or they go, go and show that house mm -hmm. if it's available. Ah, uh, all right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So th that's the the bit of a challenge that you yes. have. Training. But mm -hmm. now you already have onboarded a few agents yes. that yes. you have started to work with. Yes. This is quite great progress from uh, the last time that we featured you, which was not even long ago. Less, I, I think less than a month. Mm -hmm. You know. So Thank how you. how Thank do you, you so much. how do you enable growth for? Uh, a startup like yours, mm -hmm. you know, for others that are out there, yes. how do you ensure that there's growth in whatever business that you have taken on? Um, I think the people you start something with is very important. If you make the wrong choice, you are in the wrong startup. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, especially special thanks to my partner because I think he was the best person for this. Mm -hmm. So because with him, we are moving seamless. Okay. We don't have any people issues. We have a contract, we have an agreement, mm. a founder's agreement, meaning you have, this is your share, this is my share. So we have no dispute. No conflict. No conflict. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, partnering with the right people is very important. Okay. And team culture is very important. You, I, I, I don't expect you to be in a startup where it's very hostile mm. because that environment is not suitable for growth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, mm. great. When we're talking about innovation, you mentioned earlier that yours was to solve a problem. Yes. And you, it's a problem that you experienced personally. And sometimes when you think of, of doing a business, you think too far, you know, it's mm. the simple things that, what is around you that actually would make a great uh, startup. Yeah. So maybe you can uh, speak to others, some 
potential innovator, someone who's looking to start something because you have started, uh, this is not the first that you have. Yes. Um, how do you get to that point to see something start and actually see it through? How do you know that this is right? This will actually bring something forth. Wow. I think my, my one time motto is never give up. Mm -hmm. Because it's not easy. For example, this one seemed pretty easy. Yeah. Unlike the, my previous one, which was very controversial. So this one seemed pretty easy, but it wasn't as easy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think um, never give up. Have mentors. I've mentioned my international mentor. Mm -hmm. Look out the rest are doing. Look also what people in the country are doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. So do not have a re be resilient do not give exactly. up <laughs> and yes. have mentors people that you're looking up to yes. people that have done it before you yes. and all that yes. and now with the world how how the world is moving mm -hmm. towards um i'd call it responsible entrepreneurship uh where we have some factors that we take into consideration like sustainability like climate uh, and uh, now, how do you position yourself towards where the world is moving? Wow. I think um, first is investing in sustainable resources. Mm -hmm. For example, I mentioned we're using serverless, meaning that we, we don't buy a server prior. Mm. We only buy on demand. Okay. So the resources that are being used to run these servers are not wasted. For example, the, the, the traditional way of hosting such applications is you buy uh, maybe Linux, this JB, and all that, maybe for $50. Mm -hmm. You see, that's a prior investment. But for us, mm. we only pay for what we have used. Okay. Meaning that the server does not, we don't, it's sustainable in a, in a way. Mm -hmm. And also, apart from this, I have another e-waste management platform that okay. I'm founding currently, which basically will be managing our digital or e-waste. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be featured by the UN in, I think, end month. Wonderful. I'll be pitching for some grant. Mm -hmm. yes. Wonderful. Wow, you, you are really making moves in this space. Yes, uh, thank <laughs> you. I am challenged <laughs> and motivated <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> wow. Yes. So now, finally, as the country are closing this, what is the space, um, the place of innovation um, for when you're talking about economic growth? How does innovation help us to get to where we want, especially as young people? Yes. I think first of all is creating jobs. I am happy to see that the government has opportunities for us in Germany. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also for me, as I have opportunities here in Kenya. Okay. So I think uh, in terms of economy-wise, mm -hmm. you see for us, we have the challenge of onboarding agents. We, we are still actively recruiting. Mm -hmm. So I think by getting those agents, I think we are also injecting some cash flow in the economy. Mm -hmm. uh, because this is something that wasn't clear. For yeah. example, in Juja, for example, uh, I got a very nice comment from a parent. Mm -hmm. I think it was two weeks ago. Like, they came three times in Jaquat looking for a house. Mm -hmm. They couldn't find one. They got an agent. It wasn't that good. They didn't, they didn't like it. So when they got me, they were really impressed because they got a very spacious house, they got internet connections, because mm -hmm. apart from just a house, we, we give other goodies, just okay. add-ons. Uh -huh. Free of charge, like we give you the best provider of internet around, so you don't have to Hustle, for yes. looking for, for such. This is the best around, pick that one. So they were really impressed, and they gave us special thanks wow. for, the, for having this mm -hmm. platform. Incredible. Yes. Are there things you've just, I, I know what's finished, but you've just mentioned that and I remembered. Are there things that you look for when you, when you um, before you put a house to your website mm -hmm. to make sure that this house uh, is qu quality standard, it's yes. up to standard. Yes. It's not those that are marked X and mm -hmm. it will collapse after, a f you know, and especially when we're talking about uh, student accommodation because they'd want to live at affordable places, you yes. know, the bed sitters, somewhere cheap, but yes. there's also the risks that are involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, let me give you a, a case scenario. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a place in Juja called Gashororo, which wasn't quite safe for students back then. So uh, there's a specific, uh, there's specific houses that we don't list mm -hmm. because of the the roots, they aren't safe. For example, 
there are cases of a student being killed there just because of a laptop. So such areas we don't list. Mm -hmm. We we'll do a background check. For example, when personally, I'm the, I can call myself the, the chief hunter. Okay. Because <laughs> I normally do the house hunting also when I'm free. Uh -huh. For example, in the weekend, I did some, some house hunting. I ask around from the Boda Boda guys, how is this place? Mm -hmm. Is it safe? I get such feedback from them first because I don't want a situation where our client moved in, was robbed, and we are the ones who linked them to that property. Mm -hmm. Yes. So security is by design. Yes, in security your is number one. Mm -hmm. Then we go to other um, utilities like water, and uh, yes. Okay. Just that. Those factors that you look yeah. out for. Yeah. Now, um, how how big is your team? Um, we are. A, I might call ourselves a still a startup. Uh -huh. uh, we are from one to ten. Okay. Yes, we aren't quite big. Okay, yes. because you're still growing yes. into it, and mm -hmm. everyone has a role for apart from now you and uh, your co-founder. Yes. The others are agents. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you're still recruiting, just actively, actively recruiting. Yes. Make yes. sure you go to their website and get a job for yourself or get him on LinkedIn. Where? What's your LinkedIn? Nicholas Mugambi. Nicholas Mugambi, his yes. name, Nicholas Mugambi. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Nicholas, how do you manage to juggle all this, being uh, the CEO, uh, making sure you and your co-founder making sure that uh, your system is up to date adding new features every time mm. and you're still working on another innovation and mm. just keeping up with everything how how do you manage it because that's the question of our day of the day to day how okay. do you manage uh you know work life balance and everything even in work how do you balance it well thank you so by that i i also i also struggle in that but I have some solutions that I'm trying out. Mm -hmm. For example, having a priority list and having a time schedule. For example, Hunter would allocate two hours. Um, my could allocate one hour, and the other house, ma US management, maybe one hour. So I'm done with my startups. Wow. Then I go to my work, because I also work. Okay. So <laughs> for work, I will, according to our agreement, I'll work to this time. After I'm done, Maybe I can watch a Netflix. Okay. To just cool down. Wow. Yes. Ha, what is your brain capacity? <laughs> <laughs> because that's a lot. That's something. But uh, I love that you have been able to organize yourself, yes. having time for everything. Mm. Wonderful. And uh, now uh, there's a question I'm forgetting before before we finish. Uh, what are we looking forward to? How? Uh, how do you see Hunter becoming in the next, uh, let's say, one year, two years, or three years? What will it evolve to? Thank you. I, I see it as the next, uh, as the African Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we, we, we want to diversify also in, to try out the bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I see it big uh, because we want first to establish a good foundation here in the country, in Kenya before we explore other countries. Uh -huh. Just so okay. that we understand, are they facing this problem? Do we have, we have local solutions? But for us, Kenya, we don't have a local solution. Mm -hmm. Now we have Hunter. We didn't have, now we have Hunter. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so we're going to see Hunter expound to be uh, Kenya's BNB, Africa's BNB. Yes. Wow, wonderful. And uh, my producer is still asking about your team, but you have mentioned it, right? Yes. You, you have yourself the co-founder and uh, the agent yes. that are with you yes. now how can people innovators uh work on getting funding because funding is also an issue and how can they position themselves best for for such opportunities great for example for me funding has been quite an issue but not for hunter mm -hmm. it has been an issue for my other startups which I maneuvered through getting jobs. For example, with the JQs in JQ, they really supported me mm -hmm. with my previous startup because they gave me some work to do and also outside clients. So I think um, as much as funding was an issue, you have to put yourself up there. Because for me, I'm a, I'm a software engineer. Mm -hmm. I can write a program. For example, for this hunter, I've written it and I brought it out here to sell it. Mm -hmm. And from that, I'm getting revenue. Okay. So. 
I think before we, for us, we aren't really looking for funding with Hunter, mm -hmm. because I, the support that I have from myself and from my co-founder is enough for now. Okay. I might say that, and the revenue we are getting is trying to get us somewhere. Mm -hmm. But for others, for example, the e-waste management has been selected to receive from has been among the first elected in Kenya to receive funding. Mm -hmm. So I think also the idea that you invest yourself in really matters. Mm -hmm. For why Combinator, they say, build something that people want. Uh -huh. Not something that you want. want. Yes. Okay. So like the e-waste, it's something that there's a need for it. Yes, there's uh -huh. a need for it. So that you position yourself better, that's that's a better position for you to get the support yes. that you might need. Yes. But I love it that if you have a sustainable business like this one, then you do not need to really rely on funding to mm -hmm. get you going. Yes. You just need a good team, good idea, something that people will take up yes. and it sustains itself. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Thank Nicholas. You. Thank you too, Stephanie. For sharing this amazing yeah. thing with us. I hope we host you again to see ha the progress of Hunter yeah. and even the e -wist. Once you're ready to share with us about yeah. it, yeah. we'll be here to host you. Thank you. Okay. So remind us where people can get you on the social media platforms for yeah. the website and mm. your LinkedIn. This is your camera. Thank you. Thank you. So for LinkedIn, you can find me at Nicholas Mugambi. Yes, founder and uh, CEO Hunter. For my socials, it's Gen Z IT Expert. That is TikTok and um, Instagram. Also, Hunter is on Instagram at Hunter KE. But for the professional bit, it's LinkedIn Nicholas Mugambi. And for and also on our website, we have our business WhatsApp number on the below okay. where they can contact us. All right, great. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank that has you. been Nicholas Mugambi, the founder and CEO of Hunter where you can get your houses digitally. You don't need to go hunting, house hunting yourself. I hope you've loved it. It's a very interesting innovation. Make sure that you hope on it, especially if you're a student or even if you're looking for a house and you're independent and working. A great platform indeed, www.househunting.co.ke. And uh, that's it from this segment, but Sakwa is coming up next for another interesting interview, another interesting conversation. So stick with us. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back.